good morning children how are you all hope you all are fine stay safe and be at home okay don't go anywhere being at home we can continue our new lessons for the next academic year okay today we are going to see a new poem today we are going to see a new poem the ice cream man okay my dear student you all know this different types of seasons right in each and every season the climate changes according to the climate change what we like to eat will also change right in winter season we'll prefer to eat a hot coffee tea and some hot and spicy snacks right in the summer season what would you prefer a tender coconut watermelon and then cool ice cream yes okay what is the season now it is a summer season think you all feel so hot now right yes in this hot season what we will prefer a cool ice cream so about this ice creams and ice cream man's cart we are going to see in this poem first let us go through the complete poem okay my dear children yes when summers in the city and breaks the blaze of heat the ice cream man with his little cart goes strandling down the street beneath his round umbrella oh what a joyful sight to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white vanilla chocolate strawberry or chilly things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink his cot might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas the way the children clusters round as thick as honey bees so this poem is written by rachel field now we can see the explanation of the poem okay so when summer is in the city when summer is in the city what is the season in the city now it is a summer season you all know very well how the summer season will be just now we are in summer season so it will be too hot from which the sun produces a bright flame of heat will be like a fire right so that is called blaze bricks the blaze of heat blaze means a bright flame of fire when summer is in the city it is summer season in the city and bricks the blaze of heat so the heat is blazing throughout the city like a fire okay when summer is in the city and bricks the blaze of heat the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling down the street so at this situation the ice cream man comes on the street with his little cart what is mean by trundling moving with a small broad wheels it is called trundling on the road okay so this ice cream man cart is so little it has only small wheels when it moves on the road because of the stones ups and downs it produces a small sound right a trundling sound okay so that is called a trundling the ice cream man with his little cart goes trundling on the street now second stanza beneath his round umbrella oh what a joyful sight beneath his round umbrella what is meant by beneath beneath means under under his round umbrella you would have seen an umbrella on the ice cream man cart right a wide umbrella yes beneath that umbrella that is under that umbrella it was a joyful sight what was the joyful sight to see the ice cream man fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white what is meant by mounds it is a heap or pile of something a huge amount of something that is you will scoop out the ice cream no and place it on the cones it will be looking like a mountain right so that is called mounds a heap of something to see him fill the cones with mounds of cooling brown and white what they are describing brown and white here they are the flavors of the ice cream 
vanilla chocolate strawberry or chilly things to drink from bottles full of frosty first green orange white or pink not only that brown and white so brown means what is the flavor chocolate white means vanilla and pink is strawberry so not only this many more varieties of the ice creams are also there so vanilla chocolate strawberry or chilly things to drink in his cot in only ice cream is not in his cot there are some chilly drinks also okay so what is a chilly drink you all know sodas right when you open the soda what sound it will produce a fizz sound a hissing sound so some chilly drinks of sodas are also there in the ice cream as cot okay from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink what are the colors of the chilly drink green orange white or pink okay so this is third stanza vanilla chocolate strawberry or chilly things to drink from bottles full of frosty fizz green orange white or pink okay now fourth stanza his cot might be a flower bed of roses and sweet peas in this stanza the ice cream man's cot is compared to flower bed which is full of roses and sweet peas this roses and sweet peas are compared to the ice creams and the frosty drinks that is the chilly drinks the way the children cluster around as thick as honey bees where do the honey bees usually cluster around in the flowers to suck the honey likewise here honey bees that is honey bees are referred to the small children clustering around the ice cream man to gather their honey that is the ice creams okay the way the children cluster around as thick as honey bees we children are gathering around the ice cream man as thick as honey bees so hope you all enjoyed the poem children there are some new words to recall in this poem blaze bright flame or fire trundling moving on small broad wheels mounds heap or pile frosty fizz a chilly drink that makes a hissing sound cluster gather around a similar thing that goes in a group there are some important question answers also to recall in this poem in which season is ice cream popular ice cream is popular in summer season who feels joyful on seeing the ice cream man everyone feels joyful on seeing the ice cream man what are the flavors of the ice cream in the ice cream man's cot vanilla strawberry and chocolate were the flavors in the ice cream man's cot what are the things that the ice cream man have in his cot they are ice creams and chili drinks what are the colors of the chili drinks green orange white and pink then what is the ice cream man cot is compared to the ice cream man cot is compared to the flower bed what is the ice cream and chili drinks are compared to ice creams and chili drinks are compared to roses and sweet peas children are compared to honey bees thank you children